outside tonight's event. Jackie, there's word there could be protest. Uh, sounds like maybe that's happening. Yep, that's right. This protest actually started about half an hour later than we were expecting. Behind me is where the event will be just a few feet away. There's several dozen people uh, gathering tonight. And part of what they're talking about is this event was so restrictive. Not only did you need a ticket to get in, apparently that sold out within days. You also needed an ID and proof that you lived in District 6. Now, people I spoke with were upset about how small the building was. They say Kaufman planned this so that he could restrict the amount of protesters that would join tonight and possibly prevent what other Republicans have been facing at their town halls. Now, we spoke to a protester who tells us some of the things uh, this group of people wanted to address would include Kaufman's uh, support for the Affordable Care Act, uh, support for stripping funding from organizations like Planned Parenthood. Uh, again, here's a look live at this protest that's just getting underway. Very peaceful. People with signs. Another restriction tonight that these signs are actually too big to be part of the event. We're also hearing an interesting story about some people being turned away um, in that they were put into an overflow room and not actual access on the floor of seats because their name and address didn't quite match the information that this event had on file for those tickets. So a lot of frustration here tonight. Uh, we're going to have more of this event at 10. For now, I am live in Aurora. Jackie Denver Center. These are interesting times. Jackie, thanks very much. Just yesterday, we learned that Denver attorney Jason Crow will run, he's a Democrat, against Congressman Kaufman next year. This Army veteran served three tours in Iraq and Afghanistan.